Hello YouTube, you know who it is, your boy Christopher Jones, represent for Zeke's of Greatness, and um, I just wanted to show y'all a little something something, I just came from the store, and I, re I have to re-up on some protein real quick, and this is why I decided to buy, go ahead and check me out. Look at this shit right here, man. Now, usually, I buy this shit right here. You know, my body fortress, everybody that watching my channel know how I feel about body fortress. Best shit ever. But this is what I end up buying. I end up buying Six Star, which is also sold at Walmart. Keep in mind, this protein here is 15 bucks. This protein here is 19 bucks, okay? For those of you that don't even know, this is actually the first protein I really started using faithfully. You know what I mean? The only reason why I stopped using this was because this came out, right? And it was actually cheaper, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm a, I'm not really, you know, a picky guy. I'm all about price, you know? So I had to say goodbye to this. And the reason why I decided to buy this is because I went to Walmart today and they had this shit on sale for $16, man. Now, this is still cheaper. I mean, $15, this is $16. But keep in mind, Six Star tastes better, man. You know what I mean? Six Star tastes a little bit better than Body Fortress. I'm going to have to keep it 100% real, man. You buy some uh, Body Fortress chocolate, and then you buy some Six Star chocolate, you're going to taste the fucking difference, guys. You know what I mean? Now, I think the price was just temporary. I'm pretty sure in about a month, the price is going to go back to 19 right here. And if it does, I'll be right back over here. But I don't have a problem spending an extra dollar for taste. Because keep in mind, I know I say keep in mind a lot, but whatever. Yeah, keep in mind, I'm making protein cakes. And the better tasting your protein, the better tasting the cake will come out. That's really the major reason why I bought it. You know what I mean? And because I haven't had Six Star in a very long time. Let me tell you a little story. I don't want to keep you guys long, but fuck it. I'm in a storytelling mood. You know, so sit back and let me talk to you for a minute, all right? Let me sit down for a second. Let me have a seat, man. Now, a lot of you guys that watch my channel already seen my From Shit to Fit uh transformation video okay you already know that I started uh, training at the uh, 2006 all right now you also know that I worked out practically two years straight and didn't see any fucking results all right and the main reason was because not because I wasn't training hard it's because I didn't have my nutrition on point you know what I mean and and a, and a big part of that was I wasn't getting my recommended pro, my recommended protein allowance. I wasn't getting at least one gram per pound of body weight. Now you do have some special motherfuckers with those insane genetics that don't have to, you know, follow the macros and they don't have to get the recommended protein dosages. I mean, you got niggas in prison. They coming out of prison super jacked and they ain't getting about 40 grams of protein a day. So. You know, there are exceptions to every rule, but if you've seen my physique, you'll know that I'm, I was not an exception. I was not uh, brought up with the best genetics. I had to work hard for everything I got. So anyway, I did like everybody else did when I first started working out. You know, I went to GNC. You know, I bought the $40, 50 proteins, you know, hoping that it's going to make me big, you know. All the bullshit you read in magazines, they tried to follow all that, you know. I fell into the whole supplement traps. But keep in mind, though, when I was 19 years old, I was working at Jack in the Box, you know what I mean? I didn't have a lot of money, you know what I mean? And if you don't know, you will know soon that living a bodybuilding lifestyle is not cheap. Them chicken breasts and, and them lean meats, all that shit is not cheap, guys. That shit is expensive as fuck, you know what I mean? So... Eventually, I had to stop buying that shit. It was either keep buying that $50 protein or 
pretty much go without a cell phone and go without gas for my car and go without partying with my friends. So, you know, I chose to stop buying the shit and I suffered for it, you know what I mean? Well, anyway, so about two years later, around 2008-ish, you know, I went to Walmart and I discovered Six Star. And I'm telling you, it was like a blessing because the shit cost $19 at the time and it still costs $19 now. So, you know, I started using this shit for about a year straight and I started seeing all kinds of games. Now, keep in mind, you know, I'm, st you know, I'm eating complex carbs and, you know, I'm working out real hard. My muscles are maturing, but a big part of my growth was because I'm, my protein intake increased. You know what I mean? So, just, I noticed just from taking in a little more protein that my body was reacting greatly. So I was like, damn, if my body's reacting this good just from getting a little more protein a day. I wonder how good it would react if I was to, who knows, go from eating bullshit carbs and, and, and fried foods to just go full-blown clean for a year. So I did that. And after about six months, dude, I started seeing abs for the first time in my life. I started seeing all kinds of changes. I mean, now that I'm older, I realize because, you know, changes from dirty foods to clean foods, you know, my macronutrients were dropping, you know, I was in a calorie deficit or whatever. But still, you know what I'm saying? The fact is, I made a lifestyle change, you know what I mean? So in a, in, a, in a crazy way, you know, cheap protein has kind of changed my life, man. It really has. Now, about a year and a half after, you know, fucking with the six stars, seeing all kinds of games, I went to the fucking Walmart about 2009-ish, right? And I go to buy my usual six-star protein, right? And I see this shit right here. I'm like... I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? You know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's right next to the six star. It's like right next to the six star. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I look, and it's like $13. Now, I mean, it's $15 now, but back then, 2009, the shit was $13. I'm like, damn, $13, $19. Uh, I'm going to have to go with this shit. I'm sorry, six star. I'm going to have to go with Body Fortress. So, I started using Body Fortress from 2009 to now. You do the math. That's like a little bit under four years, man. Uh, yeah, about three and a half years. So, that's a long time, guys. Me and, me and the Body Fortress, we are like, you know, me and the Body Fortress company, we're like connected. You know what I mean? There's always a special heart. And my a special place in my heart for Body Fortress, man, because I think Body Fortress is a big reason why I'm even in shape. You know, a lot of you guys already know this, man. High protein diets are expensive as fuck. There is no way I could have built this physique without Body Fortress. I'm dead serious, cause I'm not a rich motherfucker. I'm not no big baller. I can't afford all that shit. And Body Fortress and, and Six Star has allowed me to make great gains, guys. So, you know, these two are the only protein I'm fucking with. But since this protein has went down in price, you're going to be seeing quite a bit of this. But like I said, guys, it's probably just temporary. You know what I'm saying? In about a month, the price is probably going to go back to $19. And I ain't spending $19 for shit, especially when this shit's on the market. You know what I'm saying? But keep in mind, I don't give a fuck about brand name. If somebody come out with a $10 protein for the same amount of servings, then best to believe I'm going to be fucking with them. Well, anyway, guys, I don't mean to hold y'all too long. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holler back at your boy. I got to go.